Mayor Happy Summer. It's here. Yeah. Beautiful out there. Yes, indeed. Uh, came in came in with a bang. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 90 hot and humid, so switch, flick the switch for sure. Uh, actually, uh, summertime means uh, summer recreation, and we're going to have that in Quincy this year, right? Yes, we are. Commissioner Murphy and uh, Michelle Hanley have been working on a program with their team, and I'm very pleased because I do think people need need some outlets, you know. Um, and certainly the parents have been home with these kids for a while. Um, you know, good wholesome recreational activities is always good for kids and gets them out of mom and dad's here for a little bit too. That doesn't hurt. So <laughs> it's a win win. <laughs> it's exactly right. Yeah. So it's a, it's going to be a little bit more narrow than what it used to be. I think the limiting of the amount of team play and how many kids can be involved in certain activities because we have the wash stations at all the parks and playgrounds. And, uh, so there'll be a little different look to it, but, it's still going to be a Quincy wreck, and it's a good thing. Yeah, and looking over the uh, the schedule, it looks like most things are, are happening, at, uh, at least mo- most outdoor activities, at least. That's correct. Yeah. Yep. They have all the park and playgrounds and a number of the camps, and um, I'm, I'm glad. You know, they, they looked at it. We talked about it a bit. I know some other communities just canceled everything early on, but yeah. I think people need some of this, you know. In some cases, the vacations have been canceled, so, right. um, you know, kids need something to do, and if... Uh, you know, if we don't have something for them to do, they'll find something else to do, I assume, and that's not always a good thing. Yeah, uh, in, in speaking with the, the police department, uh, fireworks are a major issue, not only in Quincy, but it seems all up and down the East Coast. It's crazy. Yeah. I, it's been going on for, for weeks. I mean, I, they've always, you know, around the 4th, you hear them, you know, a couple of days before we're up, leading up to, but this has been like several weeks. We hear them every night at my house. It's mm-hmm. crazy. For uh, folks who want to find out more about the programs, uh, QuincyRec.com um, on the website, good place to go, certainly. You can sign, Absolutely. Sign up, and uh, as I understand, most of them are being offered for free, is that right? That's correct. Oh, yep. That's great. Can we talk a little bit about a, uh, an event held back on Wollaston Beach on Saturday, Mayor, in support of the Quincy Police Department? I know you were there for that. I was. I was invited to go down and invited to make a few remarks. It was, uh, it was not just Quincy Police, but um, certainly police from the South Shore, and I know some people from Boston there as well. In fact, um, Miss, uh, Mrs. Chesna was there, Michael Chesna's family oh. members, yeah. uh, who died in Weymouth um, just in the last couple of years. Mm-hmm. So, uh, you know, it was, it was a very, it was a nice spirit there. These, are, these were friends and family members of police officers. And, um, you know, they, they want to remind people that uh, the police officer has a very difficult role. Uh, and they need uh, they need our support. Uh, that 99.9 percent of the police officers do the right thing, do a good job. Um, you know, unfortunately, when something doesn't go well, it makes national news, and um, which is unlike any other profession. I mean, there's there's uh, bad apples in everything in life. You know, um, it doesn't. And I'm not. I don't mean to minimize what's occurred at all, but the reality is, most police officers do the right thing. The vast majority of them work very hard every day, and what they deal with each and every Joe, you know, a day Joe, they 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 see the worst in humanity every day. Mm-hmm. You know, the calls they get, to the domestic violence stuff, the the B and E's, the drug deals, the, you know, I, as I said on Saturday, mo- most of police work is responding to, to calls to people in need. Um, so uh, it was it was a nice event. It was hot there, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but they had a nice turnout. It was uh, it was peaceful and very positive. Yeah. The, uh, as you're aware, the mayor of Boston declared racism a public health crisis in the city. Do you think that's needed in Quincy? No, I don't. I, I, I think that's a really overreach. Um, I, I, I just don't see the public health connection. I mean, we're in the middle of a public health crisis with the pandemic. This is certainly a social justice issue, and, uh, and it's one that should be talked about, and, and we need to make some changes in this country overall to make sure that everybody has, you know, equal opportunity and we don't, uh, that people shouldn't have to deal with in this day and age uh, bigotry or racism in any way. So I think there's still continued work to be done. And, you know, we're all humans and uh, there's a lot of great people, there's bad people, there's good and evil in the world. And, um, you know, we're going to deal with that every day. So, you know, we'll continue to work. And I, I think, the, as I've said uh, from time to time, uh, Joe, you know, it's there's this effort to defund police, mm-hmm. and I'm not sure what that's all about. I think there has to be more 
uh, emphasis on education from K to 12, for example. I think that's where the inner cities are failing. Uh, I think we do a remarkable job in Quincy. We're not perfect, but we have a great school system. Every kid, no matter their race, their creed, their religion, their background, gets an equal opportunity to succeed in the classroom. They get great support in the classroom. So, uh, yeah, you know, we've got great parks. We've got great libraries. All these quality of life things help everybody, gives everybody an opportunity to enjoy, to succeed. Um, so, you know, I, I certainly um, I don't necessarily agree with the defund piece. I do agree that we should be looking at other ways uh, to better educate our kids and to better assimilate the various cultures into into our uh, whether it's in our schools into society. But um, much to be much work to be done in this country for sure. But um, you know the old the old uh, golden rooms rule seems to be struggling these days. I mean, treat someone as you want to be treated. You know, mm. the old basic commandments. You know, love your God and love one another. So um, hopefully, um, you know, we'll see improvements in this country and. You know, I think that the the virus, everyone being cabin fever for a while, I think that played a part in some of the demonstrations as well. I think that uh, President Trump is, is, is obviously a lightning rod in many respects, so I think some of it has to do with that. Uh, I think there's a combination of factors, but um, the reality is in this day and age, in this country, and we're unique in the world, Joe, when you think about it, right? Mm-hmm. We, You know, we've, we've got every culture imaginable in our in our country uh, trying to assimilate in, in this great uh, republic that we have. Very few countries have that. So, you know, there, there is there is that chance or uh, those conflicts that occur between cultures, between faiths and religions because we're not all the same here. And that's the beauty of our country. It's the strength of our country, but it also creates some challenges. So, um, as I said, I think in, in any community, the proof's in the pudding. And, uh, you know, what we have valued in the city, safe city, education, schools, libraries, um, parks, playgrounds, senior centers. I mean, there's great opportunities for pe- people to enjoy in the city. Um, we got to continue to do that. Speaking of um, education and speaking with um, the school committee uh, vice chair, Anthony Andronico, he said that there's a record number of students signing up for uh, summer programs this year. Yes, there are indeed, and uh, that's a great thing. Of course, it's uh, it's a virtual program. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, the only um, one-on-one will be the special education program this summer, okay. uh, which is the state has suggested they do the uh, one-on-one in person, and so they are planning for that. We are using some of the Corona uh, CARES Act money mm-hmm. from the federal government to fund some of these summer programs. Okay. Uh, so that's a good thing. And, uh, you know, I know no matter how hard we try, uh, that last semester was, was tough. And yeah. I, I'm sure there's some kids that just fell behind. And hopefully some of them will use this opportunity during the summer to uh, to keep engaged with their mind and, and maybe uh, get ready for September. Yeah. it's What does September look like uh, right now? Do you, have any you know, idea? that is a hell of a question, yeah. Joe. Yeah. Um, I just hope we can get back in the schools and, mm-hmm. and, and get back at it. I, I, you know, some of the guidelines we've seen already and the preparations and the alternate plans, uh, they're just not doable in right. a little city like us with old buildings. It, it's impossible to just to break the kids down, you know, by tens. I mean, we have a decent class size uh, compared to most urban districts, but, you know, uh, it's just, it just, you just can't make that work. Um, so I don't, I don't know what's going to happen. It's, right. a little, it's a little early, but our team is... Is planning that you know the interim superintendent Kevin Mulvey and the team are working extremely hard, uh, filling positions that people have retired, coming up with alternative plans, coming up with the Student Opportunity Act requirements by the state. I mean, there's a lot of moving parts this summer in the education world, and yes. uh, it's certainly my hope that we can get back in the classroom. Yeah. On the other end of the spectrum, though, the class of 2020 uh, will have in-person graduations this year. Yes, indeed. Uh, we're, we're happy about that. And again, Kevin Mulvey and the team responded to the school committee's request. And uh, I think it's a pretty good program for the times we're in. Uh, I know that a lot of people have already had their, some family parties, mm-hmm. some parades and so forth. But I just don't think there's a substitute for uh, an actual in-person graduation. It's a little more limited to, to family members per 
per graduate, but um, at the stadium. But it's going to work, and I, mm-hmm. I think it's uh, it's something that you can't replace. You know, it it, it is the times we're living in. I get it. Uh, we had to wait that period of time to the phasing to uh, get the permission from the state to do it, but but uh, I think it's going to be awesome for people. Yeah. Is there a deadline for folks to register for graduation? Do you know? That's a good question, Joe, okay. and you stumped me. I'm not okay. sure. No, I didn't mean to. Yeah, I'm just I'm curious. Sure. Yeah. Um, I know it's uh, being done. Actually, the Boston Cannons are helping out with their with their ticketing system, which is great. Yeah, which means there is a deadline of some sort because yeah. they have to have um, the, the numbers ahead of time. They have to sign the That's tickets right. by seat and all. So if anyone has any questions, they should call the uh, school department superintendent's office, uh, 984-8700. There 617, of course. Excellent. Uh, Mayor, I uh, appreciate your time as always. My pleasure, Joseph. Enjoy the beautiful day. Yes, you as well. Uh, stay off the beach, though, because there's piping plovers nesting on Walliston Beach. I <laughs> saw that. I see. That's a new. I, you, you always hear about it in Duxbury That's and right. some of the South Shore <laughs> communities, but. Wow, at Wally Beach, that's pretty interesting. <laughs> well, you know, there's less people there, so they figured, let's let's move in and take over. <laughs> yeah, wait, when I was a kid, it was horseshoe crabs and jellyfish. That's right. <laughs> I remember that, too. <laughs> Thanks oh, again. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye.